Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We were dealing with real numbers. And in the last class, we learned about Euclid's Lemma as well as Euclid's Algorithm. Today, we would be continuing with the exercise. And if you haven't watched the previous video, the link is available in the description box. And anyone who has since subscribed this channel, this is going to be useful for you. So do subscribe and press the notification button so that you would be getting the update of the videos that would be going to be uploaded. Let's continue with the exercise. Exercise 1.1, page number 7. Question number 1, second one, 196 and 38220. We will apply the division algorithm here. 38220 is equal to 196. There must exist a quotient as well as the remainder. When you divide 38220 by 196, uh, you will see 1s are 196, the remainder 9s are 1964, 980, 5s are 1980 and the remainder is 0. So that is 196 into 195 plus 0. This is, that means the highest common factor is this B, 196. You see 196 is actually 1 into 196 plus 0, right? So, the highest common factor of 38220 and 196 is 196 itself because uh, 196 is a factor of 38220. So, a greatest number which can be uh, divisive, which can divide both 196 and 38220 is 196. Question number 1, third part. Find the HCF of 867 and 255. Similarly, using division algorithm, 867 should be written as 255. We'll find the quotient and the remainder. 867, 255, 102 is the remainder. Since the remainder is non zero, we will apply the division algorithm again. 255 equals 102 into find the quotient and the remainder. So, quotient is 2 and the remainder is uh, 51. Here, we will again apply the division algorithm. 102 is equal to 51 into quotient plus remainder. 2, 0. 51 into 2 is 102 and the remainder is 0. Therefore, this is the last non-zero remainder or 51. So, HCF of 867 and 255 is 51. This is exactly how you need to do the first part of quest number 1. Uh, if you try it out and check with the back answers and if you are not getting, you can ask in the comment box. Let's move on to the next question, quest number 2. Show that any positive or integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. This is exactly like example 2 that we did. It says to show any positive or integer is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5 can take any form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5. For this we consider let a be any positive odd integer and we take b to be 6. So using the division algorithm we will get a is equal to 6 q plus r. That means there exists a q and r such that r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 6. So, the possible values of r could be r is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Will 6 come? No, it is less than, strictly less than 6. So, these are the 6 possible values of r. 
So what are the six possible, there would come six possible values for A also. A can take A is equal to 6Q plus 0, that is 6Q. A is equal to 6Q plus, if remainder is 1, then A is a positive odd integer, 6Q plus 2. A is equal to 6Q plus 3. A is equal to 6Q plus 4. And A is equal to 6Q plus 5. So these are the six possibilities of how we can write A. But you check A is equal to 6Q. A is equal to 6Q plus 2. And A is equal to 6Q plus 4. They are all even numbers. Why? 6 is any multiple of 6. 6 is an even number. Any multiple of 6 would be even. And so 6Q is even and 6Q plus 2 which is an even number. So A is equal to 6Q plus even plus even is also even. This is also similarly even. So the rest of the possibilities that means the rest of the values 6Q plus 1, 6Q plus 3 and 6Q plus 5 are the way, only possible ways how an odd positive integer can be represented. Therefore we prove that any positive therefore any positive odd integer can be expressed as either it can be expressed as 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5. Let's look into an example. Just suppose 19. 19 is an odd number, right? You can write 6 into 3, 18 plus 1. We got 19. Now, uh, 23. How can we write that? 6 into 3, 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. Any other odd number? 27. 6 into 4, 24 plus 3 is 27. That means any positive odd integers can be changed into the form 6q. Q, uh, any number, integer plus 1. Now come to question number 3. An army contingent of 616 member is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? The question asks you, uh, there are army contingent of 616 members and they are to march behind an army band of 32. So you need to find the HCF of 616 and 32 so that they will form same column, same number of columns. The length would be greater for 616 army contingents compared to 32 members. So you need to find the HCF such that they can form the same number of columns. Find HCF of 616 and 32. You can use our division algorithm. 616 is equal to 32 into when you divide, you will get 19 plus 8. Here, uh, 8 is not uh, 8 is not equal to 0. So, you will find the div division algorithm between 32 and 8. 8 into 4 plus 0. So, you see 8 is the last non-zero remainder. So, the HCF of 616 and 32 is 8. Therefore, they will form they form 8 columns and march. They will form 8 columns. They will march in 8 columns. Question number 4. Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m. So here we need to prove that by using Euclid's lemma that the square of any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. Let the positive integer be a and we need to show that it is of the form to show a square is equal to 3m or 3m plus 1. For this we will take let b is equal to 3. So by using Euclid's division algorithm, we will get a can be written as a equals 3q plus r. That means this implies there exist, there exist uh, q and r such that a is equal to 3q plus r where r is less greater than 0 and less than 
3. So the possible values of r is r is equal to 0, 1, 2. So you see when r is equal to 0, a is equal to 3q. So a square will be 9q square. Square of 3q is 9q square. So we can write 3 into 3q square. That is equal to 3m. Where m is equal to 3q square. Any integer. 3q square is, also, is an integer. So we got a, a positive integer of the form 3 into m. Now suppose a is equal to 3q plus 1. And we are taking the square. 3q plus 1 square. We will get 9q square by applying a plus b the whole square 9q square plus 6q plus 1 you can take 3 from the first two 3 3q square plus 2q plus 1 see we are taking 3 common so 3 and here 2 uh, divide, dividing both terms with 3 and I get 3m plus 1 where m is actually this bracket uh, m is actually that is inside the bracket 3q square plus 2q. So here also we got uh, a is of the form 3m plus 1. Now let us look what happens for when r is equal to 2. a is equal to 3q plus r. 3, 3q plus 2. a square equals 3q plus 2 the whole square. We can write 9q square plus 6q plus 4. We can actually change this 4 into 3 plus 1. I will write 3 plus 1 instead of 4. And I will take 3 common from these 3 terms. 3, 3q plus 2q plus 1, 3q square plus 1. That is 3m plus 1. Here m is integer, right? 3q square plus 2q plus 1 is kind of integers. So we got in a is any positive integer then the square is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. Suppose take a positive integer a 4. The square of 4 is 16. We can write it as 3 into 5 plus 1. Suppose the square is 7. Uh, we can write 7 square is 49. We can write 3 into 3 into 16 plus 1 is 49. So any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. Now let's move on to the last question of this exercise. Question 5. Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. This is similar to the previous question but in this question we are asked to find the cube. The form of the cube is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. Just like in the question number 5. Let A be any positive integer to show A cube is of the form 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. For this we take let B is equal to 3. Therefore, A, we can use division algorithm. That means there exists, there ex this is a symbol for there exist. Q and R such that, this is a symbol for such that. A is equal to BQ plus R, right? So, we will change B as 3. three Q plus R. And they are R is less than or equal to, greater than or equal to 0 and less than 3. So the possible values of R is, this implies R would be 0, 1, 2. So how A will, ob, will be of the forms, just similarly, when R is equal to 0. When R is equal to 0, A is 3Q. A cube will be 3 cube the whole, that is equal to 27 cube. We can take 9, 9 q cube that is equal to 9 m where m will be written as 3 q cube. Similarly, so I got the form of a cube to be 9 m. Now let's see 
when r is equal to 1 that is a is equal to 3 cube plus 1 a cube is equal to 3 cube plus 1 the whole cube the formula for a plus b the whole cube that is equal to a cube plus 3 a square b what is 3 a square b you will get uh, plus 3 ab square plus b cube so from these three terms i can take 9 common right here i'll get 9 9 divided by 27 divided by 9 is 3 q cube plus here it's um, 3 q square this is 9 27 q square i'm taking it uh, i'll get 3 q square plus q this is 3 into 3 9 and here 1 so this is like 3 m plus 1 where m is of the form 3 cube q cube plus 3 q square plus q so i got a cube can be of the form 9 m plus 1 the other form now let's look when r is equal to 2 i'll get a is equal to 3 cube plus 2 i'm taking the cube 3 cube plus 2 the whole cube we'll do the uh, a plus b the whole cube again 3 cube plus 3 into 3 q square into 2 3 a, a square b what is the formula a plus b the whole cube equal to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube i'm doing that 3 3 cube into 2 square plus 2 cube that is equal to taking 9 common out from the first three terms 9 common you will get this is 27 q cube that is 2 q 3 q cube plus 3 q square into 2 is 6 taking 9 common this is 3 into 3 into 3 into 2 taking 9 common i'll get 3 into 2 6 then q square plus this is 3 into 3 q into 2 that is 3 into 3 q into 2 9 common 3 and 3 cancel i am getting 2 q plus 2 cube is 8 so i will get 9 m plus 8 where m is something that is in the bracket 3 q q plus 6 q square plus 2 q so i got any positive integer can be written in the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. 9m, 9m plus 1, 9m plus 8. So friends, uh, this is all for this exercise. We have learned today about what Euclid's lemma and Euclid's algorithm and we completed the exercise. Do practice more questions related to this. This section is actually very easy. You just have to know proper division and how to uh, find the HCF using division algorithm. If you like this, and you're finding it useful do share this with your friends and uh, do subscribe to this channel and uh, get updated for the coming up videos this would gonna be very useful for your class 10 examination so do your do best we'll see in the next video